Gemini, this is Soul. And Gemini, this is your November general love and relationship uh, messages reading uh, 2017, November. The messages will also be for Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising. All right, my fellow twins, I hope all is well. Uh, it is uh, the month of November. I'm doing this reading uh, a bit early, but that's okay because some of the energy as uh, I begin the reading for you could be taking place at this current time leading up until the start of the month of November and be carried out through the entire month. I want to wish you all a very safe and happy uh, Thanksgiving for those who celebrate Thanksgiving. If you're spending time with your family and you're traveling to see family, friends, whatever you you know decide to do, even if you're single and you're not traveling or if you are traveling, you know, just be safe wherever to, wherever you go. Uh, enjoy the holidays. Okay, so enough of my babbling. Gemini, this is some uh, pretty good energy here. I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, I like, I actually like, <laughs> I should say I love what I see. All right, so, but it is, it's not going to fit, you know, all of you. And, you know, being that I'm a Gemini moon, um, I can only hope that some of this energy comes my way. But we're going to start the energy off for some of you with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is showing up. So this is a good card to get. It's a major arcana. It's in the upright. Now, this Wheel of Fortune for the past uh, couple of readings has been showing up in the reverse. But this is showing up in the upright. You know, when I reshuffle the cards, I, you know, switch them around a little bit just so that the energy is not uh, stagnant. So the Wheel of Fortune being selected for you as the, the theme for the month of November. So someone gets lucky in love or there could be some sort of fortune related to um, connecting with someone new. If you're single, there could be a turnaround in an existing relationship. The will of fortune shows up in the upright because, like I said, it could be energy that is presently or currently happening now leading up to November and someone gets fortunate or lucky could be initiating uh dating someone that you've just recently met uh the reason why i'm saying that is because the two of wands which is underneath the will of fortune and could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius male or female normally in a general reading uh, in a general love reading, this two of wands, if it shows up in the upright, it's, just, it's about stagnation or lack of progress, things moving forward. It could be just this, you know, planning stage, but you're not moving forward. Relationship, it's a number two, it's two people. So in the reverse, that means that things are going to be positively moving forward. Okay, think of the three of wands. Two of wands is uh, stagnation lack of progress when it comes to relationships when it's in the upright in the reverse that means there's some sort of element of moving forward so i'm getting an initiation of someone getting fortunate or lucky uh possibly connected with someone new with the two of wands whether or not it's a fire sign it doesn't really matter it could be any zodiac sign in this energy but i feel that the most powerful thing that's showing up here for your reading gemini is that the fact that the lover's card this is your energy, the Gemini. Lovers represent Gemini and the other air signs, Aquarius and Libra, is facing or crossing, I should say, the will of fortune. So that's where I'm getting someone gets very fortunate or lucky in terms of a new relationship or there's a turnaround in an existing uh, relationship. Progress moving forward with the two of wands in the reverse. Now, somebody... Because this eight of swords, which is definitely your energy as well. Someone is still having or holding on to some sort of fear. Uh, I don't know if that's fear of venturing out or trying to move forward within a relationship. This could be a relationship with another air sign like yourself uh, and that of Libra and Aquarius, male or female. This is, you know, more or less f unwarranted fears fears that you're inflicting on yourself this is uh you know a card of you know worry possible stress but you're feeling like you're um you know restricted and you can't move or there's some sort of restriction being placed on you but i think it's your own mental mind you know 
that you might be dealing with. Some of you, you know, sleepless nights, anxiety, worry. This is what this Eight of Swords uh, represents. But I feel that it's self-inflicted, okay? It's not something that could be uh, actually occurring uh, since we have uh, two powerful major arcanists here starting your entire reading off. And the Lovers is, you know, outside of that is showing up to say that whatever fear that you have, um, don't succumb to it, you know, just let it go or try your best to release it as best that you can. If you're single and you want to put yourself back out there in terms of your energy uh, into the dating scene, you know, if there's a fear with an existing Gemini uh, couples, you know, try to release that fear and just know that everything is going to be, um, you know, for the most part, working out for you. Since you have the favorability of the Wheel of Fortune and the Lover's Card. Partnerships. I'm not talking about business here with the Lover's Card showing up. Partnerships. Seeing eye to eye with one another. Being on the same page. Getting along well with another person. Your you know, potential uh, partner. Your existing partner. Romantic chemistry. The Gemini. I mean, I'm sorry. The lover's card that shows up is representing Gemini. This also could be that someone gets married in the month of November. So many things going on with this energy that I'm picking up. But somebody needs to release a fear of, um, yeah, definitely because this fear, feeling bound or restriction, excuse me, restricted, ironically, the devil card, which is the other card of feeling bound and restricted. Okay, this is a release of those fears. So maybe at the onset, or it could be happening now that there's some sort of fear that you're self-inflicting and by the end of the month or at least towards the end of the month, then you're able to release yourself from any uh, unwarranted restrictions that they that may be self-inflicted or, you know, inflicted on on by others. The devil card, I'm going to speak about that because it's a major arcanist in the reverse representing Capricorn. So it could be that, you know, some Geminis are dealing with earth signs. This is a card of addiction. This also represents um, releasing, you know, or confronting bad relationships or bad habits. Also substance abuse that may have been uh, part of any problems related to uh, relationships. You know, you could be dating someone and you find out or you've known all along that this person is addicted to some sort of, you know, uh, substance, alcohol, weed smoking, drinking, whatever. And if it's not, maybe this is the fear that I'm getting for that one Gemini or two that I'm reading for that, you know, you have this fear that things may not work out because your partner is dealing with some sort of, you know, physical substance abuse. Outside of that, it's just dealing with bad relationships, wanting to move forward, no longer feeling bound, fearful or restricted to, um, you know, a person, an actual person dealing with some sort of, um, you know, this could be, you know, overcoming some sort of sexual addiction, overcoming a person even though you may not be in a relationship with this person, but always thinking about them, always, you know, this is the ending of ruminating thoughts, repetitive thought patterns, thinking over and over. That's this eight of swords here, worry and stress unnecessarily. And it could be that you're self-inflicting these things and then making or creating the anxiety and the stress that's not even um, necessary for you to create. All right, so the nine of wands is showing up after the... Um, Eight of Swords. So this is like, in, you know, more or less ending of battles and struggles, whether you get it together and, and releasing those self-inflicted uh, energies that you're putting on yourself and ending of battles and struggles, internal or external. This could be ending of battles and struggles with Geminis who are currently dating or in relationships with fire signs. Nine of Wands represents Aries, Leo. Sagittarius, male or female, okay? Ending, fighting, quarreling, arguing. If it is a true fire sign. Ace of uh, Swords, this is your energy again, victory and success. Using that sword to gain clarity, cutting, cutting away uncertainty and confusion. Hence the Eight of Swords precedes this Ace of Swords. Fresh starts, new beginnings. Very determined. 
to clear up any possible old energies, confusion, uncertainty surrounding you uh, as it is related to another person. Okay, relationships. I always get the victory and success with the Ace of Swords. Definitely. So something is about to um, take place that's new. There's a new formation of something based on a decision because these are decisions taking actions. Making decisions and taking actions, but in a positive way. I already spoke about the two of uh, wands. That is the completion of possibly because of the lover's card and the will of fortune. Someone gets involved in a relationship. It could be a formation, could be a uh, relationship that has already started back here with a fire sign. If it is a true fire sign. Now, don't be dismayed because the ten of cups that follows the two of wands is in the reverse. This could also be a completion. Hence, the lover's card is over top of the um, ten of cups. This is usually a family card sustaining, you know, emotional happiness and fulfillment or gaining emotional happiness and fulfillment when it comes to a family. You know, this is also a social card for me being around family. So it might be just one of those things where because we are approaching the holiday season that somebody is feeling some type of way emotionally could be you, Gemini, and you're not, you know, some of you may not be looking forward to, you know, gathering around family and celebrating. That could be a separate message. That's all I'm saying. But because the lover's card always, you know, the any majors trump the minors, this could be just a completion of having to you know this could be the completion of a relationship that's formed following the two of wands all right so think of it that way i'm gonna still stick that message out there that i feel that it, it could be related to someone not wanting to spend family or quality time uh with a large group of people okay devil card I already spoke about then the chariot shows up as a major kind of following the uh, devil card and this is in the reverse as well so this is some sort of uh, stop and go energy i'm doing relationships i'm not talking about any other areas or aspects of your cars i'm not talking about vehicles breaking down someone uh, buying new vehicles it could be just that the chariot which represents cancer and other water signs um pisces and scorpio and it's underneath this nine of wands okay so it might be that there's some energy related to uh, some fear and there was some sort of battles fighting arguing fighting definitely fighting going back and forth with a true fire sign and it's like the relationship is stop and go you know one moment you are doing fine and you're progressing the next thing you know but I'm just here to tell you that it's not your energy it's the energy of the it's the energy of the fire sign if it is a true fire sign. Okay, that's that stop and go energy. Um, the last card that I have for you in this reading is the, the page of pentacles. So this is a person and this mirrors the two of wands. So this is uh, a connection made possibly with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. But something uh, new is about to begin. These pages could be someone younger. Oftentimes, you know, people equate these pages with uh, immaturity and, and whatnot. But, I, you know, I don't always go by uh, textbook description. I just give you a feel that something new is about to start. And the pentacles being that is the element that is cho chosen. It could be just a mere indication that there's a connection made with a younger uh, earth sign. It could be any zodiac sign. But this pentacles, pentacles always represent charity, stability, and security. So this being a page is the start of those things when it comes to a new relationship. Seeking stability, seeking security. Um, slow and steady always wins the race with the pentacles. All right. So whether or not you connect with a, a true earth sign it doesn't really matter something new is about to begin and i feel that it is because the ace of swords victory determination and success is over top of the pentacles so that is a new new beginning or a fresh start in making the decision 
for those singles who want to venture out, put their energy. I would say in the month of November, it looks really, really promising. Uh, if you are a single Gemini and you really want to connect your energy with uh, someone new, uh, you got the Wheel of Fortune the entire month. OK, but just keep in mind that it's a 10. It's always a change. OK, so there's some sort of major change going in relationships. Either one is about to begin or there's existing relationships that's going to do um, something in terms of um, a major change. But it's going to be positive. That might be moving to the next step, you know, engaged to someone and then you want to get married. That's the lover's card showing up. So, so many things going on uh, with um, your reading and the messages for this month. But. The most important thing that I have to say to you, Gemini, this is very, very positive. OK, someone will always have a problem with it, but I don't really give a shit. Take the messages for what they are. Open up and expand your mind. Release any stress or worries or concerns, anxieties about an existing relationship or whether or not you're single and you're not sure um, that you want to put yourself out there again into the dating scene. And I feel that you will because this is the release of the devil card releasing you restrictions restricting yourself and then the ace comes in and says you're using that sword to cut up any conf you know cut away any confusion being very determined and then with that victory and success is achieved fresh starts new beginnings all right so that's what i have for you gemini and the um okay the mirrors love oracle cards that i've selected for you uh to support your reading and these might just be separate message messages for those gemini's who need to uh, see the message or hear the message and then none of this stuff up here unfolds uh, for you triangle self-explanatory there's a threesome going on with a Gemini all right you know who you are um, work it could be some sort of uh, attraction someone attracted that you work with that's attracted to you you could be uh, working with someone that you're attracted to so there's a potential of maybe a connection through the workplace environment for the others. There's this obstacles. OK, so some sort of block blockages that could be uh, present. And I do feel that I'm going to connect this with uh, the eight of swords. It could be your own energy blocking yourself as an example. OK, but whatever the obstacle means for you in terms of whatever's going on in your life, then that's why it's showing up here. OK, so just because we have the chariot and the chariot is, uh, you know, normally very, very positive uh, when it's in the upright, because that's, um, you know, things moving forward, going accordingly the way that you planned but because it's in the reverse it's only a message for one or two of you that might be a stop and go energy for dealing with the energy of a true fire sign if that is the case okay but then at the you know tail end of the month you had the uh, will of fortune at the beginning and the tail end the page of pentacles something is about to start a new relationship is about to start and it's going to um bring you that sense of security and stability that you've been longing for whether or not this page representing a male or a female is younger it could be the case it could be you that is the youngest one or the younger one and then someone else is older so it could go either way all right gemini i hope this is helpful and beneficial uh, once again like i said before uh, don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information and that is not mandatory it's just helpful um, wishing you all a very safe upcoming month ahead of November uh, please enjoy the holidays um, safely and responsibly with your family if you're solo by yourself whatever you choose to do just be safe okay can't emphasize that enough so sending out a lot of love and light to you all until I talk to you again Gemini please be well bye